Hello folks, I am back with a Firearms product review and this time it's going to be on the Streamlight TL Racker. Uh, this is not a new product, it's been out for quite some time and the uh, first time I saw this was on Mr. Guns and Gears uh, video on it and he did a great review on there. I suggest uh, you watch that video uh, to get a little further in depth, but I want to talk about mine at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on a better angles and excuse the camera for moving a lot, but I wanted to get you to see this. And um, it is for upgrading your uh, shockwave, or in, and it can be used on any other uh, pump action shotgun. And I'll tell you what uh, shotguns it's compatible with. So as you seen in previous videos i did add the packmeyer grip here i added uh, a holder for my shells and also you could put an optic on here i think i will leave that alone and here it is the t uh, the streamlight tl racker uh this is a light fixture that you can put on your shockwave or any other shotgun and i've been really trying to get into uh, lights on my firearms lately because uh, I've seen uh, videos of um, tactical consideration. He has a very good video of several different uh, lights and what they are going to do. And I'm going to pick up one of those lights and another one from 32 Icon. She had showed some uh, lights on her video uh, explaining that. So let me get back to this. And as you see, it's part of the foregrip that's on whatever shotgun that you're going to use but if you replace the whole uh piece itself so let me give you some stats on this and again i do apologize for moving a lot and the stats are it is a light fixture in the front i don't think i showed that to you but there is a light fixture right here on the front and it is 1000 lumens on the forehand light there uh the hours uh, that this can run for with the battery is, I, they have it as 1.50 hours. Uh, distance of the beam is going to be 283 meters uh, with a max candelella of 20,000. Uh, let's get into the size. It is uh, roughly 8 inches and it weighs 12.10 ounces. Uh, the color's come in black or orange just in case you want to be fancy you want to add orange and uh, it also will take two CR 123A lithium batteries so you will get it's batteries that are available so you won't have to really hunt for them and this is where the battery compartment is in the rear and here is the light at itself up front this light is compatible with, of course, I said the Mossberg 500, 590, and 590 Shockwave, as well as the Remington 870. So you can put this uh, on there. Uh, one of the other things is uh, I did do some work uh, around the house with this. And, you know, what I mean by work is I was running around the house acting like a ninja and trying to see how the light is, was going to work and how what the brightness is at a thousand lumens this is very bright i cut all the lights off in my house and it is really bright and, and it's almost like daylight so i'm going to just i um, not going to be able to do it in this room like i want to but if you quickly press it and press this uh piece right here or this uh, rubberized section here you if you quickly press it there it is. You quickly press it with one tap. You will get to see that light up front. And sorry if I'm muzzling you, but these guns, this gun has been um, safety checked prior to the video. So um, I'm not facing the firearm to my face or anything like that. I'm just facing it near the camera off angle. So as you see, it's very bright. And just with a click right there, all you will see is that it cuts off uh, very easily. Now, if you hold right here and then release, what will happen is it will be 
a quick flash of the light. Now, if you notice, my camera is acting up because I have that light on a flicker moment like, like that. Now, like I said, that's when you click it quick, it's going to stay on. If you click and hold, it's going to be momentary, and that's going to be it. Um, one of the other things I like about this is that it does have the strap here, and I, I actually put the uh, put the regular Mossberg uh, strap in here. I'm not going to do that right now, but you get what the point I'm making. The regular Mossberg strap that's on the 590s. They are usually on there for safety purposes, so your hand won't slip forward in, in front of the muzzle, and you would have some type of accident. Not only this has a safety strap, it has a section that's indented, so when you're gripping, you can grip and be able to rack another uh, shell, in the, uh, shell in the chamber. So this adds another feature where you, you grip and you rack it, and then that, and it will chamber that round safely without you having to put your hand in front of the muzzle. So that's a good thing right here. It is uh, really grippy like the corn cob type of, of four-end grip that you see on regular shotguns. And it is really a nice uh, feature to have. Like I said, the straps are here and... They do uh, its purpose very well, and you will be able to have decent control uh, with shooting this. Uh, I did take a couple of shots with this, but I'm going to do some more shooting with this tomorrow. I am, it's this reputation that Streamlight has with this particular uh, product. It is very durable, very tough, and we all know the reputation of Streamlight. Okay, and that's all I have for you right now. I'm making a lot of other videos, so they will be coming uh, back to back to back. So I just wanted to get this product review out. All right, um, thanks for watching, and happy shooting. Stay safe. Hashtag 2A.